Hi, I'm Debbie. And I'm Tim. Welcome to Vintage Food Farm, or should I say, welcome to Mossman in beautiful tropical far north Queensland. And today we're going to take you to show you the beautiful Mossman Gorge, but on our way we saw a market, so we've got to stop. This is a very cute market. So that is breadfruit and we are going to get some. <laughs> Hello, how are you? I've got jackfruit here too. That's oh, jackfruit. jackfruit. That's a jackfruit. Yum. Do you want to get some breadfruit? Get two. Yep. This one's six dollar. Yes. And that's five dollar. So two of them, eleven dollar. Okay. Um, should, can we get this one as well instead of this one? This one not very good one okay. because they got right. mark in it. Yep. Because the sap come off and they burn the skin. Okay. Know? Nothing wrong inside, but it yeah. not look very good. Person. Yeah. So we're gonna make breadfruit curry. Yeah, they will be good. It's very good. And are they ready to use now? Yeah. Yeah, because you don't wait till they're ripe, do you? you no, use them hard? You you use them when they're hard. Yes, yes. yeah, awesome. Okay, no problem. This is so exciting. <laughs> Happy cooking anyway. Yeah. There we go, nine dollar change. Thank you Thank so, you. so, so, so much. You. Enjoy, yeah. We will. So we're gonna take our breadfruit home tonight and make a breadfruit curry. Very exciting. Beautiful jewelry. Hello, how are you? Good, yourself? Good. You had a good day? Um, just started, but yeah, so far so good. Not too hot, which is good. Ooh, kimchi and kombucha. Pineapple kimchi. Wow, it's very cool. yummy mangoes these palmer mangoes are actually really good they've almost got like a sappy taste to them is that durian yeah. oh. durian. oh wow fresh durian oh. i love durian oh moringa yes let's have dry moringa we've got a few moringa trees on our block but people dry it and make powder out of it and sell it for its health benefits very very nutritious but fresh in a soup or a noodle soup beautiful how do you cook your moringa I cook with the other big Yeah, so do you just put it in everything? Yeah. It's so good for you, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Are you Filipino? Yeah. Yes, that's, as soon as it says Moringa the, and the, Durian, I'm like, Filipino. In the Philippines, even how rich you are, they have to present the Moringa at least three times a week. Yeah. And are these calamansis? Yep. Yeah. This is like the Filipino oh, hub is. of... <laughs> yeah. So as soon as we saw durian, moringa and calamansis, we knew that this lady was from the Philippines. Incredible. Beautiful big calamansis. No, no, no. She will be playing football, yes. But, uh, I, thought I thought I saw her at the market. No, she only comes on my own. How much are the calamansis? Calamansis, the bansis is $3. Yes. The one on the packet is $5. Okay, and how much is the durian? The durian is only $25 a kilo. $25 a kilo, but they're about like two and a half kilos or something. Uh, yeah, it's too much. It's too much to ask. I'll get, I'll get calamansi. Yeah, okay. yeah, I want to. I really want to, but my budget but doesn't to, stretch. To... When you mean you're not durian, he's trying to buy He hates it. He hates it. Yeah. Yeah. He hates it. <laughs> and I, I can't, I just go around Southeast Asia just looking for it. That's all they said. Either you hate it or you crazy about it. <laughs> is, it is that it, you I, think? I'm crazy about hating it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I eat it, she hates it. Oh, you hate it too. Yeah. Oh, I love it. The smell, yeah. I love she it too. It's like, it's, it's creamy, it's every you. tropical fruit. <laughs> it's amazing. It's a rotten. <laughs> That's what he said. 
because it's rotten. Uh, when I come here, I, know, I used to be my supplier, like, they give me in the container, all the Thai people, because Thai people know how to eat it. Yes. Every time I come on my fridge, it's like, I, because I just being polite, I didn't say no. <laughs> I just get it, and after I put on the bin. <laughs> and I said, how to do it? Oh, that's fine. And, it is <laughs> and then until the ladies, uh, Thai ladies said, you have to eat it uh, cool, it's like uh, ice cream, yes. slowly and slowly. Yes. When I get into it, you crazy exactly. about You've got to get used to it. And I, in, um, we were in Penang in Malaysia. Oh, yeah. And they they've got lovely. beautiful there. And I said, um, Tim, just try it, just try it, just try it. And all the locals were saying, try it, try it, try it in a circle. And then he tried it. Oh, he was just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't afford it, though. Let's just get calamansi. <laughs> calamansi is good. Calamansi and soy sauce, and, they're very good. Oh, it's so With good. a bit of chili. Yeah, exactly. That's what they do. That's what they do. So and if then we go, make a barbecue thing. if we go out to Davies Creek or somewhere for a day, I just get frozen prawns. Oh yeah. Calamansi, soy sauce, and chili, oh, and I make God. the dipping sauce. So yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Awesome. Thank you so much. That's all right. Enjoy with that. I will. We've actually got calamansi trees, but the cockatoos ate all the calamansi. Oh yeah. Once a cockatoo is there, oh. everything break it and go I, down. And don't even eat it. Just throw it on the ground. Oh, they eat the seed. Oh. So have a look. The one on the ground. No, no seeds. More seed. Yeah. They are all skin and juice is there, but the seed is gone. Oh. They are all picking Such the seed. Such a waste. Yeah. Anyway, have a great day. Nice oh, to meet you. Okay. So these are the famous um, Fijian dresses. Yeah. Hello. What are these dresses called? They've got an... Sorry. What are these called? Um, Mary Blouse. Mary Blouse. Mary Blouse. Yeah, it's so pretty, hey. And they so do, cool. Yeah. Mary Blouse. Yeah, cool. So Tim's going to find some cash. Oh, did you sell one? Yeah. So Tim's going to find some cash and then we're going to come and buy a jewelry. Oh, yeah. You've got us too excited. <laughs> but he doesn't like it. He hates it, yeah. Oh, I've just found a plant stall. So this stall is selling heaps of tropical fruit plants, like there's breadfruit and limes and rambutan. Oh, mulberry, papaya. We certainly do not need any more papaya. Japotica. Oh, Japotica. Japotica, yeah. So that has the things on the actual stem. The yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Meringue. Meringue. Sour sop. I've got heaps of sour sop. I love sour sop. <laughs> Star fruit. I've got that. Rulinia. Rulinia, yeah. I've got Rulinia. Yeah. Maprang. You know Maprang? No. No. Yeah. Maprang. It's small, uh, small uh, mango, if you will. Oh! Really sweet. Oh, wow. Yeah. And this is like a charity thrift market with a sausage sizzle. And this thrift market is in this beautiful old Queensland house. You never know what you might find that you didn't know you needed. Oh, I'm sure I will find something I don't need. <laughs> so this is like a huge op shop inside an old Queensland house. We, we just get so much stuff that a lot of it goes, I send up to the Cape, to yep. the communities that have oh, got great. nothing. Oh, great, yeah. So otherwise it just yeah. gets dumped a lot of stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. It's like Thursday Island where things are yeah. very, very oh, expensive, absolutely. like crazy, yeah. Yeah, so that, that's what happens with a lot of our stuff. Yeah, probably. it's um, really cool. So we've come back to this stall here because we're going to buy a durian. Okay, so we're going to get this smaller durian. Durian costs a lot of money anywhere in the world, doesn't matter where you go, but it is worth every cent because it is so amazing. And Tim is so excited. I'm excited to get the house that you're going to live in with a durian. Because <laughs> it smells so bad. So we will get this smaller one. Yep. When you go to Asia and book into your hotel, in many hotels there's a sign on the door that says no durian allowed because of the allowed, smell. You're not allowed to bring on the yeah. hotel. You're not allowed to even ride on the jeepney. Or yeah, the I know! You're so you're not allowed to ride in the jeepney with it? No, no. Nobody and that's got open air. Yeah. <laughs> no, I love this. Yeah. So we just paid an absolute yeah. fortune for our beautiful okay. durian. And as soon as we've finished our video, so we're going to go home and I am going to sit down and peel it and, and take the segments out and put them in the fridge and chill what? it. 
and then I'm going to eat it and it's going to be beautiful and the leftovers I'm going to chuck in the freezer so I can have little durian ice creams each night. Everyone's packing up, we've got our breadfruit, we've got our calamansi, we've got our um, durian and now we're heading off to Mossman Gorge. Do you ever make breadfruit curry? Yeah, I do. I do. Um, I like the bread, the breadfruit, I, I might stew them with a uh, little bit of chicken. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yep. And what sort of spice herbs and that do you put in it? Like I, lemongrass or anything? Or I, I just put curry and, curry. Some, and some coconut cream. Yes. Yeah. Just So just like curry powder and coconut cream. Yeah. And then That's chicken it. and breadfruit. Yeah, I don't use much spicy. Yes. Spicy yep. things. Yeah. 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 Nice. Okay, we're spending too much time at this market. We need to go to the gorge. So this is the Mossman Gorge Cultural Center um, and you go in here to buy your tickets. There's a beautiful cafe that's sort of in under the rainforest. You can get damper with um, Tablelands honey, heaps of mango smoothies and homemade pies and pastries. So it says up here, Indigenous training and employment is the heart of the Mossman Gorge Centre, which serves as a hub to provide Indigenous Australians with tourism and hospitality skills that will equip them for jobs across Australia. You can tell it's a really well run setup. Hello. So that's the cafe and we're actually going to just see what time the tours are so that we can plan our eating. Um, there's also an art gallery there you can go into. This is where you book your tours. Lemon myrtle hand cream. Hello, how are you? Hey, how are you? Okay, um, so is there some sort of tour that we can do that had um, like, like a, the, um, with a guided tour? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, you have to go down there and see that lady. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. So at two o'clock, we've got a dream time walk. So that's okay. with, with one of our indigenous guides. Yep. And it goes to a different part of the park. Yep. So, um, your guide will talk about what the Yalanji people use the rainforest for, yep. the plants and that's animals. it, that's the one we wanted to do, yeah. There's a smoking ceremony, yep. there's um, an ochre painting demonstration and a soap painting, awesome. uh, soap making demonstration and there's also tea and damper at the end. Yep. Now that ticket also includes a shuttle bus ticket so you can go and explore the rest of the park as well at your awesome. leisure. Yep. And that um, shuttle bus ticket is valid all day. Yep. Right. Great, that sounds good. So, we're going to do that? Yeah, that sounds really good. Yeah. Hello, how are you? <laughs> you, you. <laughs> you, you. I'll just get your details, you we'll just oh. charge them the money. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you did an important job. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, is this two for the dream travel? Yes. So, that is $180. Debbie? Debbie? That one's right, and this one's your ticket for so just the shuttle bus then. Yep. So you awesome. can use that after the walk. Yep. The so that goes from here to the gorge. Yeah. Yep. Yes. But you need to be back here for your guide to collect you. Yes. Yeah. So at about five to two. Yep. So what was your first name, sir? Tim. Tim. Oh, because <laughs> <laughs> oh, Debbie's so hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thank you very much. No worries, you're welcome. Thank you. Yay! Ha <laughs> ha
thank you. Oh, did you reduce? T-shirt. They are absolutely incredible. Beautiful stuff. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. How much is that? Forty bucks. So everywhere we go, we buy one T-shirt um, usually. And Tim got a t-shirt last week at the um, Hartley's Crocodile Adventures. So it's now my turn to get a t-shirt at Mossman Gorge and they are so cool. Do you know what? I like the snake. Look, how cool is this? And it also goes around the back. Oh, that is so cute. Over the shoulder. Goes over the shoulder. That is gorgeous. And it's got Mossman Gorge on the side. <laughs> so we accidentally found two t-shirts that we're gonna buy. So that's Tim's one with the crocodile. And have a look at this. The crocodile goes right and wraps around the t-shirt. So when we go to Vietnam and do our travel videos in Vietnam, we're going to be wearing a bit of Mossman Gorge over there. There you go. They're really cool t-shirts. <laughs> so our guided tour starts at 2 o'clock. So we're actually going to sit and chill and eat some food at the cafe while we're waiting and be ready on time for that. So it has salt and pepper crocodile noodle salad, which Tim's going to get. Coconut battered barramundi with rainforest salad, which I'm going to get. Maya Cafe beef burger, quiche, chicken lemon myrtle pie, beef and mushroom pie, beef sausage roll, toasties, but I'm definitely getting the barramundi because I'm in far north Queensland and Tim is getting... Crocodile noodle salad. Nice. My Cafe. So my is in an, the indigenous language for food. Makes sense. Anything else? Yes, can we get a... Salt and pepper crocodile noodle salad. Uh, one of the coconut battered barramundi. Are you guys looking to eat it or take away? Yeah, eat it, thanks. And yam fries. Are you either a vlog? Vlog? Yes, we've got a self sufficient property in Spiwa, which is a, in from Korea. Property, like we grow oh, yeah, all yeah. our own food yep. and everything. We then also travel through Southeast Asia looking how to grow tropical produce so that we can grow it and cook it here. But then we also do tourist sort of videos around the Cairns area. So we've done, you know, like Cairns, Port yeah, Douglas, like Crocodile stuff. Adventures. Oh, well, good job. <laughs> so you have a YouTube channel? Yeah. Do you want a card? It's called Vintage, Vintage Food Farm. Vintage Food Farm. So we've ordered our barramundi and our crocodile noodles and now we're coming out here to this beautiful outdoor area that's virtually like right next to the rainforest and we're gonna wait for our lunch. Food has just come and it looks sensational. Beautiful, oh, yam chips. <laughs> no, thank you so much. $24, it looks like a soba noodle with salt and pepper crocodile and then some sort of aioli and um, pea sprouts and cucumber. Mine is a coconut um, barramundi fillet with a beautiful fresh salad with heaps of stuff in it. Avocado, lettuce, cucumber, um, there's a big wedge of lemon there to squeeze on my fish, so very, very nice. And then these are yam chips, which look very yummy, with a homemade tomato chutney. Good. Can I taste it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Salt and pepper crocodile. It doesn't get any better than this. That is really good. Oh, yeah. You need to come here and you need to eat this food. <laughs> Mm. 
So that is really fresh saltwater barramundi. It's very, very good. Outstanding. Amazing. So the noodles have just like a light sort of flavouring on them, maybe some soy sauce, maybe a bit of um, sweetness as well. And then that with the salt and pepper crocodile. Yum. This food is very, very, very quality. It's very good. I'm just going to try and find out what that flavour is in the, um, in the mayonnaise. Can I ask what the flavour is in that mayonnaise, in the aioli? Which, what, what did you have? Uh, barramundi and yes, crocodile. Yes, it's mango. It tastes so good. Yeah. I couldn't pick it. Like I didn't. Yeah. No mango aioli, so I could put a little bit of lime in it. And, yeah. Beautiful. The yeah. food is so good. Oh, so good. So the flavour in that aioli is actually um, mango and a little bit of lime. <laughs> it's really good. So I just did a quick change and put my Mossman Gorge t-shirt on. We've both got our name tags for our Nagadiku Dreamtime Walk. Tim. Tim. So we're waiting for the tour guide to come now. Uh, train is one name uh, you can uh, call me. Yeah, and if you ever forget, it's always written on the right hand side of my shirt right here. Yep. Yeah. Um, that's one of the names. The uh, language name that I've been given is uh, Wolga Bana. And um, that's the language for a uh, water dragon. Yeah. Wolga Bana. Yeah, Wolga Bana. Yeah. Um, or if not, everyone in town, they call me Bang Bang. Yeah, <laughs> Bang Bang. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a little nickname there. Got from one of my uh, grandmothers. Yeah. Oh, wow. Now, is anybody uh, familiar with this stuff right here? Bark. Yep. Yeah, bark. Yeah, what? Paper bark. Paper bark? Alright. Oh, well, I guess we're all familiar with it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> ah, very good stuff, this one here. Yeah? Uh, used for our smoking ceremonies. Uh, if we had the bed uh, camping, right, used to help uh, cover up some fruits, berries. Uh, if we cut ourselves, can also be used as a bit of a band aid. Um, and since the stuff right here is waterproof too, right, our budgel, which is uh, very similar to like this here, our baskets, right. We place all this stuff right here, right inside and around. So that way, when we go on the side of the river, we can fill it up and use it like a bucket. And maybe COVID-19 comes around again, we can use this <laughs> as toilet paper. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And there is a very special um, way of um, uh, welcoming or like a, like a type of prayer, as you could say when I'm doing this in language. All right, and we all get this one here from our elders. So when we do this here, welcome. This is a form of respect between us, right, elders as well as our maja rainforest yeah mother earth now um even with this here too also connects us together right as we're going for a walk we go as one family one mob one people now any negative energy that we might be bringing on here today right we want to cleanse that away yeah so we have an open mind as well as a protection that we place over many others right for many bad spirits around here in the land want to be a bit of a nuisance try to follow us on. yeah Ugh, I yeah, and even if you're in a bad camping, oh, this stuff right here is very good to keep away all those um, insects and mosquitoes. Now what we're going to do is just go for a bit of a walkabout. Um, now we're going to go anti-clockwise, eh? So you, my friend, are going to be the head of the snake. I'd love you to lead everyone on, yeah? Everyone follow along and get all this lovely smoke, eh? Oh. <laughs> yeah, go, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> you shouldn't have made me the leader. <laughs> it always goes wrong. Yeah. You like to keep on going, everyone? <laughs> <laughs> this guy's suddenly realising how I should not be leading this. You used to follow me right over here, yeah? Oh, Right on the bench, we have some lovely de uh, daintree style tea. That um, up the road right here is they got the daintree plantation. Now the uh, the tea uh, the tea leaves that they grow. It's only probably one of the few 
that's grown on low-level lands. A lot of them are grown up in the mountains, yeah? And because of the natural uh, herbs and uh, soil of the rainforest, this is where they decided that they're going to make this here tea. This is where we got some traditional muffin-style damper, made with a bit of our uh, wattle seed, yeah? Give it a bit of flavor into it, yeah? And don't worry, it isn't made by the traditional way, where it's um, got to use some uh, toxins. <laughs> some of the toxins to use the bread, right? But um, now, it's a bit of a dry bread, so we do have some butter, uh, honey, jam. This is a day pretty. It's a little bit weak, but you know. Yeah. The more it sits there, it gets stronger. Yeah. It's got the flavour of the pot. I'm going to fill it right up. So oh, you want awesome. more? Thank you. <laughs> you got me. Thank you. Nice. Then you go around here and you'll see like um like almost like a bit of a hilt. Now um over the time, um this is the by the time the two boys, right, went at the front of that fire and raised their spears at one another, that's when that fire burst open. This is really beautiful rainforest. Or how the rainforest looks when we have a uh, cyclone come through. They will start, uh, if they stay around here for too long, uh, there'll be a bit of a fungus that will begin to grow. And uh, the fungus, from that color, goes between a fluoro green or yellow, right? That's uh, bioluminescence. Elders, they grab all that, right? And they mix it in with a bit of that paper bark, right? And then when they place it on the fire, Get that smoke up, it's only used for special meetings, right? And what it does is help calm the mind down. But they don't uh, yeah, put too much, because if you put too much, it causes you to uh, hallucinate. <laughs> <laughs> one of our hardware store here in the rainforest, yeah? So when you got your shields and your club swords right here, right, when we collect these items, we get it from the butcher's root, one of the four trees here within the uh, area, yeah? Now, um, the one that we have right here in front of us, as it shall say, uh, so when we are collecting these here, now we make sure that we don't go too deep within the roots when carving this here out, because it does damage your tree, right? Because in a way, if you were to go a little bit too deep within that root, um, this year won't be able to grow back. Now, with these items right here, yeah, your shields to protect yourself from incoming spears, as well as your club swords, right, to be uh, breaking the enemy's bones. As a sign of warning, right, if he broken the law, he'll only have one of these collarbones broken. If I, if he committed a very serious crime, like uh, take someone's life, right, the elders, they'll have the other warriors, they bring him over, they place him on his knees. And then with that club sword again, they'll use that to break bo uh, both of these collarbones. Oh, they'll have him uh, banished away from the this land. Yeah. yeah. So he would then just go walk about somewhere else and live? Yeah. Like go to another yeah. tribe or like, like nothing? You, nah, nothing. Yeah. Um, oh wow, that is heavy. Oh, Do you yeah. carry that around? <laughs> yeah. Well that is a bit of a small version, that one there. That's a small version? <laughs> yeah. Because um, back in the days, those ones there would be up to your shoulders. All the way down to your <gasps> shin, yeah. Could anyone oh, else? Say peace right here. Yeah. I've yeah. had a look. Probably yeah, just I think maybe around at yeah. the bottom, or even uh, just around here. Oh yeah, that's the same with the uh, boomerangs right here. Yep. Yeah. Force behind it. Mm. And even for us with the cassowaries, right? When we used to hunt them, we would have this here to uh, glide amongst the ground. That way, it would snap their legs. Yeah. Oh. This place is paradise. Absolute paradise. Straight across us, right, we see the sea uh, king fern. Yep. Yeah. Um, and now, as we can hear the water not so far away from us over here, mm -hmm. because if we get, we get lost here in the rainforest, right, we follow these uh, streams right out into the main river, and from the main river we try to follow that down. Yeah. So even if we come across these here, the king ferns, if we are a little bit hungry, when we collect the root system, right, we pluck that all out, go up into the water, we give it a good little clean. Right, and this is where we can have a bit of a chew. It gives us fiber, so a little bit of a, something to help us continue on with our journey, yeah? Uh, yeah, they like to eat that, and they also love the sap from here, right? It's not harmful to them? 
No. Okay. Um, well, the, the reason why the tree kangaroos love the sepia so much is that if they eat too much, right, this is where it makes them, uh, makes them a bit dizzy. This is where uh, we can cut the sepia down uh, and use the trunk to make our uh, canoes. Right. So we can cut this down. Place just because uh, years ago uh, there used to be old paintings on Long the Sea Rock of uh, Kuburi, uh, the good uh, the good spirit, and then uh, Wurumba, bad one, um, having a bit of a fight. And then on the right hand side I had a bit of the warrior, right? Like, I went out to try to look for the people that was going missing. Yeah. Yeah. Even as I uh, tell the stories, I'm more than welcome to have a bit of a uh, look inside. If he's like, uh, one way in, only one way out. I was going to say, we don't come out, I don't think we're going to see. all the food that he needs, you know? Even the bush races. Alright, so then when the next day came, he was set out into the rainforest. So there you have estimated this one right here to be roughly around seven, maybe eight hundred years old. Yeah. Whereas in, uh, this one here is one of our trees where we actually go all the way up on the top to collect these uh, fruits or seeds as you may say. That is uh, one of our ingredients on how we make the bush bread. Now this one right here is um, very, pois uh, very poisonous. That um, uh, the ladies they sit down and they work at it, yeah? To get rid of all those toxins, let it flush with that water. Uh, you'd have your basket that has a bit of paper, ba uh, paper bark around, right? And it's a little bit yucky disgusting but they have a bit of pee in there yeah because then they mix a lot of that in right and once they mix it in then that's when they have to heat it up yeah <laughs> that way um, if you walked around the rainforest and accidentally stabbed your foot with um, a wood right um, hit with the spear and that's where that medicine it plays on uh, I heard stories but I've never uh, witnessed that but um, my grand uh, grandfather uh, his name uh, goes by um, Harold Taylor uh, names uh, Muxi, yeah. Um, show me uh, how to use it now for when you get hit with yeah. spear or stabbed in the foot by anything. Yeah, alright. Uh, it really comes in handy this one. Yeah. And yeah. 800 years old. Yeah. I can't get in depth with it, but it is a bit of a women's uh, business um, that they use the bark right here for birth control. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If they um, don't want to go down to the hospitals um, to one of that. Uh, to one of the nurses, doctors. Yeah. All right, if you just want that information, you might have to go down to the community and ask them grandmothers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh. yeah. If you just come around here, uh, when you see these uh, plates, that's almost like a hard shape. Yeah. Say so these, yeah, these ones right around here. Uh, when you find these leaves, you can use this for bush cooking. Yeah. So for me, uh, whenever I'm at home, uh, cook up for the brothers. Um, uh, this is where I go and make stew, uh, or something like stew. I uh, grab a lot of these ones here, crush it all up, give them a good little squeeze and place it around into that uh, pot. Just cause then, um, this one here is like very similar to like uh, cooked crabs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and it lightens up the dish a bit. It might have, yeah, so when I grab these leaves, Find around here in the uh, river bend, so, uh, around in the local areas, uh, a little bit more down in town. Uh, ogres uh, used to do a bit of uh, traditional dancing, sing ceremonies. All right. Even when we go, uh, even if I go hunting with the brothers, right, and uncles, uh, really helps uh, cover the smoke flames from the animals. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. um, even when they're far away from us. Uh, and if we're not covered up properly, they'll run away before we can ever see them. Uh, even back in the days, uh, it was important that you paint yourself up when you go um, traveling. And, um, pattern and designs was uh, like your passport and ID, yeah? So letting the other clan groups know uh, who you are, where you come from. So for an example, if we're walking up the road here and we come across a dangerous village, right? you come across uh, one of the clan groups, uh, uh, I'm a part of, 
and that would be Google Jalambo. Yeah. Um, if you're walking a little bit further up north from there, then you come across the uh, clan group of uh, Google Nyungu. Yeah. That's uh, going towards Bloomfield and then heading towards Cooktown. Yeah. All right, if you're going out into the desert country, all right, the groups out there, you might either run into the Google Bindinji or Google Yemen. Yeah. All right. If you wasn't painted up back in them days, all right, this is where they would uh, pick up their spears, chase you away. Yeah. <laughs> we can use the branch, yeah, and then we can also use the leaf. Now, we call this one here, Garden Bell. I mean, it should be very similar to the type of uh, cream that you put on for uh, soy and mussels. It's like tinker rubber. Tinker rubber. Yeah. Tinker rubber. Yeah. 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 Ye
and the CRO, I'd like to thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you right. It was off. awesome. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed your company. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was awesome. A lot of laughter. Um, made the end. <laughs> yeah. All righty. Yeah, uh, well, thank you so much. It was amazing. No worries. Thank yeah, you very much, thank everyone. Thank you. Well, we'll head straight back on to the bus where we can dive straight into that nice cold air con. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best dream time tour ever it was so good so beautiful and so informative such a great guy his name is Trey or Bang Bang is his nickname Look at bush medicine on my, um, I got this bite this morning in, in the swamp I don't know what it was bit me but I put a bit of that bush medicine on and see if the kids are up <laughs> That's our channel. You'll be famous. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah next Friday. Next Friday? Yeah. Before we head on down, did anybody want to go to the National Park or back to the centre? National Park? Do you want to go back to the yeah, National Park? So we had lunch, a nice lazy lunch at about 12 o'clock um, with that great food. Then we got on the tour. And that's finished at about four o'clock. Um, and now we're walking down the boardwalk to the gorge. So these are all the beautiful little spots along the boardwalk. The guided tour is in a different area to this walk. Um, so even if you do the guided tour, you can still come down here and do your own self tour of the gorge. So if you just want to do this walk, self guided walk down to the um, gorge, you can do that as well. Is the current strong? Yeah. Yes, it is. That's Tim in the swim. Oh, wow, that's cold. <laughs> Too cold? No. <laughs> you get used to it. Yeah. <laughs> You do get used to it, hey? I'm just numb. <laughs> So that was the first exit off the path where we went swimming and now we're going to go up and look at the bridge. We'll go up to the Rex Bridge Lookout, I think it's a suspension bridge across the, the Mossman Gorge. I do not like heights and this is a wobbly bridge. <laughs> Complete strangers are telling me I'm going to die. Okay, it's not as bad as what I'm acting like because I'm terrified of heights. So this is actually feels really stable. Oh, whoa. <laughs> what an amazing spot, eh? Hey? Yeah, totally. I kind of wish 
I didn't come over because now I have to go back. But I'm going to wait till Tim's gone back over so that I know that any bumps that there is, is just me. It is absolutely terrifying. No one else even cares. And the wobble's sort of funny, it like pushes you up and down, so hold on tight. Okay, I'm going behind you. Bridge, this is what I fall into. Oh. Well, that was terrifying but fun. <laughs> like it like and subscribe but most importantly stay, stay calm, calm in the farm, in the farm.